Lucas is back. Probably not the person you wanted to see, but we'll just deal with it. Also, I'm very sorry if there's any background noise. They're doing like roadworks outside, um, or pathworks, whatever they're doing. And they've been very disruptive. It woke me up at 9am this morning, very early, I know it jokes. Not early, but I just wanted to sleep. Because as a teenager, I don't exactly go to bed early. And I just wanted a nice lie-in, because I was working yesterday and the day before. But no, they had other plans. Good work. I did a quick shop. But yeah, so they've been doing it pretty much for um, the like last since last week, I think. They started like just outside to be honest and they went down that way and then up that way and now they're back <laughs> across the road so it's like they've looped around but yeah so anyway into today's actual video today vid is today i can't even speak because i'm not tired but today's video is something that i haven't done before so i'm going to try um basically there's this ship called the queen mary some of you may or may not have heard it and it is rumoured to be one of the most haunted places on earth. So today we are going to be looking together at some stories um, and hopefully in the future when I get more money and I don't have to spend it all on my car because um, that's another thing I need to take my car to the garage on Tuesday which is tomorrow. Um, so we're going to look at stories and hopefully when i am got a bit more of money saved up I want to go and stay in this ship overnight. Because you can do that, it's a hotel as well, which I'm surprised people decide to stay in Because I've been doing my research, I've been watching videos. And obviously I am a person that has to see something to believe it. So that's why I want to experience it for myself. So if you're down to come with me, comment below and I'll reply. Yeah. Okay, the first story is called The White Lady. So I'll read this out and then I'll discuss my thoughts on it. In present day, the Queen Mary functions as a tourist attraction and a hotel. Visitors are especially intrigued by one woman who checked in but never checked out. Guests and workers alike have reported sightings of the White Lady, a woman floating at the end of the first class lounge called the Queen's Salon, dressed in a ghostly white evening gown. For more than half a century, whether you believe it or not is up to you. But there is some photographic evidence for the curious. It's like I've never personally had any ghost experiences. Um, sometimes I hear my floorboards creak, but that's just because I'm in the attic room and it probably creaks for, for reasons, but not ghosts. Like, that's why I want to go to the ship. Um, so, obviously, YouTube videos, I'm not saying they are fake on it because they're probably very much real, but I want to experience it for myself as well. Um, and if I see a white lady. I'd be like, oh, well, it is true, but yeah. So now this story is called, called, called Little Jackie. Perhaps it's Little Jackie's tragic history that inspired her to stick around the haunted vessel, but we may never know. Jacqueline Torin, if that's how I say it, was five or six when she drowned in the ship's second class pool, which is now the Royal Theatre. Visitors report hearing little Jackie splashing, calling for her parents and even responding to questions when prompted. Some visitors believe that Jackie has a friend, Sarah, who drowned in the same pool in 1949. So, I'm obviously, again, a bit sceptical. Like, I've never heard or seen or felt anything to do with a ghost. But whether this is true or not, who knows, it's just... I want to experience it and go there and see for myself and explore the whole of the ship um, and then stay in a room. The scariest room is B340, I believe, and that's where most hauntings happen. It was closed for 30 years and they opened it up a few years ago. I don't know if it's still open now, but that's the most haunted room. Although there was, I watched a video today, someone stayed in the Queen Elizabeth suite, which is Sam and Corios, what if they called that? I forgot the names, but yeah. And it looked very, like a lot happened. The next story is about John Henry. Just like little Jackie, John Henry has a sad story of his own that inspired ghost hunters to try and reconnect with his spirit. Henry worked in the boiler room and it was there, it was here that he remains, his remains were found. So he died in the boiler room and he was found there. 
Ghost hunters report seeing Henry's shadowy figure lurking between the boiler room and the green room. Some even claim to have spoken with Henry, who sometimes audibly responds to questions about beer. Ooh, an alcoholic ghost, that's what I'm going to be. But obviously, I, I, like, I'm like i sceptical about these stories. Like They could all be fake or they could all be true. Like I have no idea which is why I want to go and explore for myself. Next story is about John Pedder, if that's how I say it. Obviously, I don't know how to say all these names, but I'll try pronouncing them the best. I've heard about this story before I even read it because I watched a video um, so I know what happens. And just listen, he was my age, 18. There were 49 reported deaths on the Queen Mary during its time in service, one of which was that John Pedder, otherwise known as Half Hatch Harry, the infamous Dor 13 located in the shaft alley, crushed the 18 year old crewman to death when he was playing chicken with another crew member. So, chicken, because there's this latch on the door where you can close it if there's an emergency. So, that was happening, and then and then there was playing chicken where you keep going back and forth while the door's closing, and the door closed on him and crushed him. Pedder is known to leave behind greasy handprints in areas where he roams. It remains one of the ship's most popular attractions for ghost hunters. Now, on the videos I've watched, there are handprints in many places that are, like, greasy. I don't know if they've read about this story or know about it, but maybe they could link together. The next story is about Dana, easily the creepiest of the Queen Marys on board deaths. Legend has it that someone murdered a young woman named Dana and her family in room B four seven four. The killers the killer strangled Dana's little sister and mother on the bed and then shot Dana to death in the bathroom. Dana's spirit can be found lurking with the other girls the children in the second class pool and sometimes joins Grumpy and John Henry in the boiler room. See if you didn't know there was murders on board because this ship it was in service a long time. It was happened through World War. It was in World War Two, and then so on for a longer. And there was a lot of deaths for a boat. Um, and the fact that there was murders on here shows what kind of people were going on the boat. It's just mental. So yeah, as I said, it was room B three forty, where is the most haunted room on the ship. So I'll read a bit about it. Room 340, the most haunted room on the ship, was a place where a member of staff was brutally murdered. Ghostly reports from the guests of creepy happening in this room grew more and more. Sheets were flying off the beds while some people were in them. Loud bangs became louder and the taps in the bathroom continuously turned themselves on. Which, on the video, they watched the faucet taps did actually turn on. It appeared that a ghost was getting more agitated with the guests and the ghost activity grew more violent that the room was no longer available for guests and the room was completely shut off. But then a few years ago they did actually reopen the room a YouTube like a few YouTubers stayed in there and there was this because apparently the ghost doesn't like girls so I'd be gone home. <laughs> And the girls ended up with scratches on their legs and it was like bleeding bad and blood on the bed sheets. Um, and obviously you wouldn't scratch yourself for views and she literally put her leg under, took the cover off and there was blood on her leg and it was like scratched and bleeding. So that kind of made me think like maybe something does happen there. But still, I'd have to see it for myself. Obviously, probably not in that room if it's closed back again now. But any room would do, to be honest, because the whole ship's haunted. Now, this is a because obviously there was other things that happened, like not just murders. Some people committed suicide. So more recently, a 26-year-old woman staying on the Queen Mary fell 75 feet off the side of the ship, plunging into the freezing cold water below. Many people report a feeling of weird energy in the very spot where the suicide woman decided to end her life. So I would want to go to that spot to see if I feel the weird energy. Like I've, no, I don't think I've really ever felt any weird energy 
that's because I don't know if my house, I don't think my house is haunted because I've never had experiences with ghosts. So now I'll read you a bit of information that gives me, it gives me on this website. The cries of a young baby is heard in the third class playroom, possibly the spirit of the baby who died here shortly after birth. Unexplained knocking on the walls and doors are also reported here, along with doors slamming shut, odd bizarre smells, cold spots and loud squeals are reported often by the guests. If you stay here in hope of experiencing the ghosts of the ship but get go to bed disappointed, I wouldn't be. You might get an unexpected wake up call from one of the 150 ghosts on the ship. Like 150. That's a lot. Many guests report of the phone ringing during the night and when the, when answering, no one is on the other end. Like, that just sounds something so much like a horror story, don't you think? It's like, it reminds me of, like, Scream, like, you pick up and then up like, I can see you or something like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you've had any experiences with any ghosts, tell me below because I'm very intrigued at the moment. And let me know if you want to could tag along to come to the queen mary when i have more money um so yeah i might make this a series as well reading obviously not just about queen mary because there's only so many stories to read but reading different ghost interactions and paranormal activity so comment below and like if you'd like me to make it a series so yeah like comment subscribe please because i have hit 51 subscribers now um which may not seem a lot to a lot of people but to me it's amazing and i love you all for your support follow my instagram which is emily underscore mullen 2001 and emily mullen yt which is my youtube account so yeah i'll see you in my next video guys take care bye